while ago, we brought you a story about a local company setting up mobile charging stations for your cell phone. Well, we stumbled across this next story in New York that takes it one step further with a planet-friendly charging solution. The New York pilot program is called Street Charge. It includes 25 portable solar-powered chargers that'll charge your phone or iPad as quickly as any wall outlet. Designers Mark Pronell and Marco Perry from Penta are behind the design and engineering of the stations. After testing out several variations, including one that had solar panels attached to street signs, they came up with the final design. And in a way, they can be seen as an eyesore if you don't really understand how beautiful what's happening is, which is drawing clean power from the sun. And we wanted to create something that was still looked industrial and rugged and durable, but had some organic elements that kind of responded to and, and sort of were inspired by the beauty of, of solar power. And so that's how the design kind of evolved into what it is now, which is has these kind of pedals that are kind of subtly tipped toward the sun, that has some curves to the details and the organic elements, and um, you know at the same time is made of the materials that you often see in these spaces. The panels are able to produce 45 watts of energy over the course of an hour. And because they store the solar power, they work even when it isn't sunny. The batteries never drain, ensuring consistent power supply. The product is still in pilot phase, and as such, the team hasn't yet quantified the impact of the stations. Perry is hoping that they'll shape people's perceptions about solar power. I think the, the biggest environmental impact we'll get is driving more awareness. You know, certainly we're saving energy, but uh, it's, it's so convenient that, that people plug into it and it is solar powered, and that's just... It, there's always been this sort of trade-off about, you know, being environmentally conscious versus, uh, you know, making some sort of sacrifices for that. And in here, it's like, you know, it's so convenient, you don't have to think of it as a sacrifice. And over time, you know, those sort of trade-offs shouldn't, they should fade away. The solar stations seem to have piqued the interest of many New Yorkers. I think it's fabulous. I only found out about it today, and I think it's, it's wonderful. I think the city is doing something right and good. I think it's a great idea. It'd be a matter of convenience, and solar energy is the way to go. <laughs> One of the big reasons to be looking into this is for use during crisis. AT&T, who are providing the wireless service for the program, say the stations are not just about a quick charge, but could also be life-saving in times of disaster. Well, during Hurricane Sandy, we weren't looking for a fancy solution. We were looking to just get there quickly, mobilize. We brought trucks. We literally brought power strips to help as many people as possible. With this, though, what we've seen is it's a very mobile solution. So we do think that it's applicable to a lot of other situations, whether it's a hurricane or any other type of disaster or a fire or something like that, to bring it into an area where people have been affected and to help them in a time of need. With the pilot phase coming to an end in September, it's expected the project will be rolled out on a larger scale soon throughout New York City. It'll be interesting to see if it really catches on, and if it does, it may not be long before there are solar charging stations cropping up right here at home.